uh, one question, Ed, that came in, and I, it's the obvious question, but always says, what's the biggest mistake everyone makes in a crowdfunding campaign? Well, there could be a lot of them. One of the, th the first thing that comes to my mind mm -hmm. when I watch a video is, strange as it may sound, but this is where I go, technical, is people don't have good audio. Now, some people might say, who cares? Well, you need to care. Because I've seen, and we've both seen, some celebrity campaigns that look like they phoned them in. <laughs> and, and it's just like, you know, do you care? I mean, it's, you gotta care, you gotta. This, this, no one's gonna stick up uh, a campaign and go to sleep and wake up the next morning and see that there are lots of contributions. No. Y you must prepare your campaign. You know, don't just write it up, you know, and, you know, shoot a video. And by the way, you know, you don't need 45 cameras and, and Gone with the Wind to get good sound, you know. But you got to care and put love and thought into it. But you have to put love and thought into every inch of it, you know. Okay, give yourself two or three weeks, you know. Figure out, you know, who's going to stand behind you. Who's going to push you out. Uh, people ask me, like, you know, whether well, you're just getting money from family and friends. Well, that's where it starts. Right by the way. And by the way, if your family and friends do not want to back your campaign, don't run the campaign. I mean, seriously, if mom's not going to stand behind you when you run for mayor, don't run for mayor. <laughs> it's probably a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, but you then know? what do you do? You got to come up with a new idea or a better way to present it. Now, let, let me ask you a question. But let me just finish that one thought too. So once you get the family and friends, then it's their job and your job in running a campaign to spread the word. And if we can do that, we do get, you know, strangers and, and, and people that have just found us through Twitter and people that like the idea because we're communicating and we're using the net, which is a global place. And, and then finally, too, everyone always asks me, what platform do you use? You know, look, all the platforms are great and we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about the differentiators, but they're all great. I don't think there's an inferior platform out there. They all work well. They all do transactions well. But in my personal opinion, I don't care what platform you're on. You are one page in the net in the middle of nowhere. Nobody goes to Kickstarter and says, what am I going to give money to today? Right. Nobody. Nobody says, I'm going to just dump some money into a campaign. It's your crowd. Whatever site you are on, whatever page you are on, we're even going to talk about crowdfunding, you know, without even using a platform on this site. Hey, I've, I've, I can, you know? I've done talking about the crowd and your crowd. I've done campaigns for a couple of different people that actually were creating their audience because they could really afford to fund the campaign. If they just brand building, if yeah, they were brand building, they were creating an awareness, they were creating their own club, it's and they did it. The tool, I mean, for film, I know. I mean, when you go sell a film on an international thing, what do you need? You need a trailer, you need a one sheet, you need a budget, and you need t shirts, and you need, you've got it all. Perks, you've just branded your movie, yeah, you know, it's your first messaging coming out. Uh, so, I mean, there's numerous reasons to do it. But, you know, just to go back to answering that simple question, prepare. Pre yeah. Prepare. You know, take it seriously. Raising money is not easy anywhere. It's not simple raising money online. It's not simple raising anywhere. But it's a great, great alternative yeah. to go out there and try.